In today's video, a car very familiar to Mazda enthusiasts. G'day everyone, Daniel O'Grady here. Thank you very much for joining me. Hope you're doing well. And no, this is not a live video, which I think some of you are very happy about. But uh, hey, that's just how it had to be. Uh, anyway, today I want to say a massive thank you to Kurt, who is the owner of this car. We had a great chat. I got lots of information about this car. Super friendly fella. And let's check it out. It is a 1971 Mazda 1300 Deluxe. If it was in Japan, it would be known as a Mazda Familiar 1300. Now, Kurt is quite the Mazda fanatic. He has owned some RX-4s, RX-2s. I mean, two cars that I almost never see in Japan. Literally, I've seen one RX-4 in Japan ever. Just nuts. Uh, also, at his house, right at the second, or I don't know, a year ago, right at the second, he did have a 1973 wagon, a 1979 RX-7, tons of old school JDM wheels, 1300 engine parts among, well, who knows what else. Now those wheels currently on the car, they are Hayashi Command. Now, since I saw the car, the wheels have changed because if you check out his Facebook or his Instagram pages, he now has uh, 13 by six Star Sharks on it and they look pretty darn sharp. Now let's dive in under the hood because the car originally was a 1300. It now has a 1500cc engine. It does have 10 to one compression, flat top pistons, a few other bits and pieces have been modded. Now this engine did come from a 323 panel van. And just to clarify, the 323 was also known as a familiar in Japan. Now just some information about the previous owners of the car. Apparently the car was bought new in Rockhampton. It had two owners up there and then in 2005 Kurt bought it. The state the car was in was a little bit rough when he got it. Actually I believe it was quite rough. And he did have the car resprayed in the original colour which is Granada Red. Now one thing that did come up in conversation was the rarity of the four-door version of this car. Apparently there are a ton of two doors, which makes me think that the people in the back seats of those cars really have to be buckled up, otherwise they're gonna fall out taking a corner at speed. And I think you should click thumbs up for that wicked joke. Okay, now the grade of this car is deluxe. It does have the wood grain in the interior. The seats have headrests. There should be little badges in the seats. Also, it has carpet instead of vinyl mats. And I believe this car has an electric antenna. My VK Calais used to have an electric antenna, but I snapped it off all the bloody time. There's still a lot to talk about with the interior. It does have the 1300 coupe steering wheel, gear knob and gauge cluster, meaning it has a tachometer. Now, Kurt did say the interior was in good condition, though the driver's seat has been retrimmed. So, finally, I just want to say thank you once again to Kurt for talking with me about his car. It's a great car, and again, I've seen it for the second year in a row, so that was great. And uh, just some administrative tasks to take care of from here on in. And uh, the Patreon giveaway, there, are, there were these three cars, Suzuki Frontier, Nismo uh, GTR Z Tune, and also this Subaru. They will be going to Oscar. Agnoletti, um, you have to be a Patreon to enter, so there's links below. And uh, if you support Wasabi Cars financially, you can be in the running for these. So go over to Patreon and get yourself entered and all that. Um, or, there's this or this for the July giveaway. Dodge Dart, it's a sealed kit. I love this car, it's a great kit also. Or, the Initial D RX-7. It is a 1 to 24, of course. It includes the 1 to 87 uh, metal mini car. Now this is a limited edition one. It says the anime special version. They stopped making these a long long time ago. So this one or this one if you are a Patreon. Links below, information below, etc, etc. Final note is the New South Wales Blues. I hope you win State of Origin. Not expecting anything but it'd be great if you could win. That'd be awesome. I'd be very very happy. Anyway, thank you so much everyone. Take it easy and goodbye. With a little bit of rust and a little bit of dirt on wasabi cows and a little bit of wasabi.